but my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. Hmm? Ah, okay. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? Yes, I have a good idea of who the culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Yes, I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have fit, would have had would have had to been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Knowing that narrows the list of sus suspects. Okay, wait, hold on. Help me out real quick. When he, when he just said that, um, he said narrow down the suspects to the, had, 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 to, had to have been done well beforehand. So does that mean it had to have, it had to have been Angie or Himiko? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't want to get this wrong because if, if I get it wrong, I'm gonna end up getting a game over. I'm re like really at the end. I don't want to. I don't want to get get, get, a, get a game over here. So am I right when he says it had to have been done well beforehand? Does that mean that only that only narrows down the suspects to Angie and Himiko? Help me out, chat. <laughs> okay, give me a hint, please, because <laughs> I know there's a time limit. That's why I'm just like I went onto the main main screen. It was it, 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 no, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say this, but I doubt it's him. I doubt it's him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. I just I just wanted to because I was like I was kind of I was kind of I was kind of like confused for a second. It wasn't Kaito, but I remember someone mentioning they went to the, to the gym. Who, who went to the gym again? I'm trying to relate that piece into. Oh. Okay. What's the matter? She's showing the logic you believe in. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that black it was a black piece of fabric, right? No. 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 No, 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 definitely not, definitely not, it was me, <laughs> no, he was black dad, that's what I'm, what, what, <laughs> what, one more thing I still need to confirm, ah, that's, is the prime suspect. that's what I thought, like, because of the black, the black piece of fabric, so I was, I was, I was looking at every single character to see who was wearing black, like this, this is before you sent a comment about who wears black. I was looking at every single character because I noticed, like, because when you said try to relate it to the piece into the character, I saw, I, I saw, I remembered black piece of fabric, and I was like, I was looking through every single character to see who who was who wore black, and literally nobody else wears black, ex well, except for Suichi, but he's obviously not the culprit. Shit, man, not Karumi, <laughs> not Karumi, man. I love Karumi. Oh my gosh, Young Summer, what's up, man? Good to have you here. Oh man, not Kirumi, man. No, I like Kirumi. Me? What? Thank you. K Kirumi? Thanks, Young Summer. Oh, so Kirumi is the culprit. That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. Kurumi is cool. I, yeah, I love Kurumi. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. You hated this game, really? Wait, when when we when we decided it was Kurumi, did, did he say no doubt about it, like Kaede did? Now here comes probably the most composed killer in the series. Everyone else, what? N n no, not me, Kurumi. Sit your ass down. I'll teach you a lesson. Hell yeah. But yeah, Kurumi is about to teach us a lesson here. Why? I love Kurumi. The wrong choice. If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool portrait. I like that a lot. Okay, here we go. I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was committed at nighttime. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. Uh, I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall <gasps> such nonsense? Damn. The 
trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. She and Ryoma could have totally shared an inner tube. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. To force Kirumi to implicate herself, my logic has to be airtight. There's a hole in her story somewhere. I just have to stay calm and find it. I, of course, I probably did alibis for yesterday, right? Oh, sh damn it! We're gonna see shallows. Okay. Damn it! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> Wait, what? I was wrong. Oh! Uh, I, of course, am not uh, <laughs> the crime was committed. Oh, uh, no, I'm about to get a game over. Just no doubt about it. No Damn it. There we go. Got it. <laughs> That's wrong. Had to think about it a lot <laughs> before actually doing it. No, the only person who could have prepared this murder is Kirumi. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym window and putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. That could only have been done when Kirumi so she go <laughs> in the gym before nighttime. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only like five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Mm -hmm. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion. Here we go. While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination, an empty theory created from nihilism. Okay. Black piece of fabric, it's gonna be that one. It has to be. If it were solely the rope and partition, I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. Shoot. When you consider that the crux of your argument is false, your entire case falls apart. What do you mean by crux of the I like how there are more rebuttal how showdowns in the second game. Guess. Yeah, there are a lot more. I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the... But there is no evidence to indicate this... Uh, let's try to get this. Okay, I, I could... What? Oh, wait. Oh, no! Ah, oh, the wrong one. Oh, my God. Deception. This is, a, this is the conclusion we reached. The conclusion we reached together. It's not just a guess. I have evidence on, on my side, now show her. I am referring to the rope. Okay. Thought it would be the black piece of fabric. Oh, you know what? We probably had to be the first one, right? You know what? Yeah, that's probably it. I think we have to be pushed back. I am back. referring to the rope. I think we have to be pushed back. Now, we oh pushed no. back at this rail. Ugh. Okay. If it were solely the rope and partition. I suppose five minutes. Wait, might be wait, no, that's not it. Damn it! <laughs> oh, bro. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Y'all, I need help. <laughs> you never need to retreat, really. I thought, I thought that was the case. If it okay. Was the rope what? <laughs> or about the game, game over, y'all. Damn it! Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. The feeling that can only be known as despair. Oh my god, we're about to hit the freaking game over. No, 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 no. <laughs> Got a 50 50 shot. Oh, which one is it though? Okay, so it's not, it's not the net cable, it's not the black piece of fabric. What else could it be? What? 
Yes, got it, got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I have evidence. The abrasions left on the window frames. Oh my gosh, that was a close freaking call. Were those scratches from when the rope was? Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. I don't think it does. I don't think I don't think your health comes back. Down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Ah. Oh, what's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Oh my god, Kokichi. Hey, 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 a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone. I can only imagine how much harder this will get. <sighs> so I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. What? Where is this coming from? Her response seems genuine. So what does she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? It, am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No, I, I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi. Who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito. I've just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Oh? Someone outside of the academy? Hey, do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? That is possible. I did she get her own by chance? Huh? The motive video? You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about? It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. Really? So please believe me. I am not the culprit. No, it's, it's, it's pretty much decided that she is. She has to be lying. I don't. I don't like. I don't want to think of. I don't want to think of Kurumi like this. I do not care what becomes of me, but I will not allow any of you to die. Yeah, she, she got really nervous when we met, when Kaito mentioned a motive video. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished for all of us to escape together. She has to be lying. My as she has to be lying. It, it's pretty much dead set. It's pretty much dead set and decided that it's her. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. Oh, don't to. do that, Karumi. Ugh. Don't do that. I'm I'm sorry, but I think. <sighs> yeah, I think it ha I think it is. It has to be her. There's no doubt about it. Damn, man. Oh my god. I did have a theory earlier that one of the well not really, it wasn't really necessarily a theory, it was just a thought or a prediction that one of the that, that I, I was thinking that maybe one of one of them got their own motive video when they were handed out. And that's what that's what I that's what I was thinking. That's what I predicted earlier, a few a few episodes back. That's what I predicted. Kirumi. 
jerk. He roomies the culprit. No, Maybe she is. Um, I hate. I hate to think think of her like this, Are but. Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? <laughs> How rude. Gota just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She always. And you were joking when I said it's well. Kirumi, yeah. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. No, I'm pretty sure this is where the fab black piece of fabric's probably gonna come into play, right? Cause we have, we still have, we still haven't used. I'm sorry, I'm gonna save. <laughs> it's been a bit since I saved. I'm pretty sure this is where the black piece of fabric's gonna come into play. So we haven't even we haven't even used a black piece of fabric. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspect. No, I'm sorry, but it isn't. I don't like to. I don't want to say this, but I don't think. So. I don't think that's true. Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more time. There's no need. I made a promise as the ultimate detective i made a promise to seek the truth i made a promise to kaede there we go so i'm not turning back now there we go shuichi they're scared they're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder so it's up to me i have to do it i'll use my detective work to prove it so you still believe i am the culprit but there is no evidence to indicate that i am no there is I have proof that you're the culprit. I realized it when we determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the final clue falls into place. Yep, the black piece of fabric. The final clue? The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi. Won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Don't you want to protect everyone? <laughs> That's what I'm doing, Kurumi. I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. What truth? All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous Oh, don't do this, Kirumi. Come on. You can't save anyone! No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone that the guilt the evidence that proves she's guilty. The black piece of fabric. No doubt about it. This is it! The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Because like the inner two, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Yeah, 
Yeah, so what? You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Come on, Kurumi, please. Kurumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? <laughs> there is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. What truth? That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. <laughs> Funny how the black fabric fits into this is the key to everything. I'll make it cl all clear now. Argument armament. Oh, dang, look at that. Okay. You are incorrect. Okay. Wait, what? What is this truth? What? That is just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. Oh shoot. <laughs> you are incorrect. What? What is this truth? Oh, there we go. Okay. That is just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. <laughs> That's really cool. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Because of your self-righteous truth. There we go. Okay, Everyone we got it. might die. Okay. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Because of your self-righteous truth. Okay, that that worked. Everyone might die. Okay. I completely understand your reasoning, but I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. You only wish to protect everyone. Why must you interfere? I completely understand your reasoning. Oh, shoot, I missed one. never accept it. Shoot. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. Okay. You do not have any evidence. <laughs> Final blow. What does that piece of trash prove? Kiru me's gloves. It ends here. Oh, last minute fence. <laughs> oh my gosh. The piece of fabric came from Kirumi's. All right. Bra. Um, that was some uh, that was some uh, nice uh, fan service there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I, I was totally freaking out. I thought I was, I was going to mess that up somehow. Okay, but we got through it. We still have to do one more thing, though, which is put piecing everything together, and hopefully we don't mess that up. Hopefully. He's on the... The piece of cloth is on the meat of the... It's on the meat bone. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Riper. Meat on the bone. They were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands. There would have been a lot of friction. Easily enough to cause rope burn. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and. And it fell into. Place. We're almost corpse is so small. <laughs> Oof. From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi, right? The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. We can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. <laughs> well, Kirumi, will you allow us Probably to end up getting a B on this, on this trial? With your gloves? But you know what? It's okay. As long as we can get through this without getting game over, I'll be happy. <laughs> huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Kirumi, what's wrong? <laughs> In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. But Kaede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought through. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it, and kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. 
Let's go. Closing argument. Let's do it. Okay. So everything's good there. The evidence made of metal that Piranha didn't eat. Is that gonna be it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just. Okay. What was used as partition in the Piranha tank? The thin and long item the culprit took from the gym. I'll shoot. Friction on the glove. Carried the rope. Okay, hold on. Let's. We can use. We can use this one right here. Friction on the glove. We go ahead and use that. What was used to transport? Okay, we we have both of them actually. Rubber inner tube. What? What do you mean no? Hitting the brakes was tougher than expected. Where was the body carried to? Good thing I have plenty of time to do this. Hitting the brakes was tougher than expected. That's where the glove should come into play, right? There we go. Okay, which one's this one? Jim's window frame and rope. Before the murder, before the murder, what was put on the victim's wrist? Oh, here we go. Handcuffed victim. There we go. Where in the gym was the rope tied? There we go. Okay, can unlock that. What's this? Piranha tank lid. What was used as a partition to part on a tank? Then long, a long item to cope from the gym. Okay, this one's going. This one's going to be the rope. Yeah. Go. Okay, metal handcuffs into water. Oh, here we go. This is going to be the piranha one, right? M evidence made of metal that piranha didn't eat. This one's going to be the. Not that. It's going to be the uh, metal handcuffs into water. There we go. That's that. What was used? Piranha tinkling? There we go. Okay. The music. What was taken from the pool? That would be the rubber inner tube. Okay, now we can get this one. Hanged inner tube, okay. There we go, that's what, okay, it was that one, okay. So I wasn't wrong, wrong, but I was kind of wrong. Okay, so this one's gonna be the, uh... this we go. Ha ha, there we go. And then this last one, where was the body carried to? Piranha swimming in the tank. This is the truth of the case. Here we go. The victim's body was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. Not bad. We got through that pretty well. Kaiden. No one has greater love than this to lay down his life for first friends. Henton. Welcome, Henton. Thank you for that. Good to have you here. Thank you. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. <laughs> but when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with Piranha. And hey, welcome to the stream, Henton. Good to have you. Before any of us could react. The oh my <laughs> god damn <laughs> oh thank you for that henton thank you <laughs> we're at 44 now <laughs> bye henton thank you oh my gosh six more to go y'all six more to go we finally hit that affiliate oh my god and all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing for those on YouTube, I do apologize about the random alerts that you hear hitting the microphone. I don't have any other headphones to put those on there. And also, I wouldn't be able to hear the alerts if I had headphones on for them anyway. Because I'm using my third monitor for, or my left monitor for a game, for the console. So, anyways, let's keep going. Closer and closer to that, to that 50 goal. Closer and closer. Finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick.
The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. In truth, the crime began last night, around 8.55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. Mm -hmm. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank and removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. <laughs> they used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Mm -hmm. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. Love the music. Sorry. To climb up to the gym's window. That's crazy, though. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. It's crazy. Oh man. <laughs> look at his look at his little ears wobble <laughs> or flap. <laughs> asked Rioma to meet at his lab. Poor Rioma. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. Oh my god. First, the culprit knocked Rioma out, probably striking him from behind. You know, that's what I thought when when it came to the skull. His like his the skull his skull his skull was cracked. So I was like, something had to have happened to his head, but that wasn't the truth bullet, surprisingly, so. So it's a, a little thing I noticed, which is pretty cool. I don't like how they changed the silhouette to blue. Really? Yeah. It's kind of yeah. First the culprit oh yeah, Fury read it. It was more ominous when it was, when it was the black silhouette. On Rioma's wrists. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. Man. From the water and the pain of drowning, Rioma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Rioma was handcuffed. It's terrible. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Rioma succumbed. Rioma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window <clears throat> facing the pool. How long are you? Are you these trials? They're about like three hours, right? The these trials. They're about like three hours. Window. Has it been three hours since we started they this trial? Because I know the last one took three hours. Thing. Think so? Okay. Inner tube that was in the pools yeah, literally in my first in my in Danganronpa one, I recorded I recorded an entire episode in one in one video, so that episode ended that episode ended up being three and a half hours. <laughs> it's been three hours, dang. Time flies when you're having fun. Thanks to y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Again, thank y'all so very much for being here. I appreciate it. Once 
Once back in the lab, We're almost hitting seven and a half hours on stream. Not bad. We hit ten hours before, so seven's nothing. They pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. If I was in the Dying Rope universe, I don't think I could even strategize a, a freaking murder like this. I don't think I could. And even then, I'm 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 more of a music person, so I would have been probably would have been the first one murdered, <laughs> since a lot of music people seem seem to die. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the gym. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. That would have caused significant rope burn had the culprit not been wearing gloves. You're like, ugh, ow, ow, which I can imagine. Ah, yikes. I wouldn't like that. Rope burn sucks. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together. Excuse me, you feel the pain. Sealed the body. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. But that's when they made their second mistake. One end of the rope came loose, and the inner the tube is brutal. into the pool. Oh, don't say that, y'all! Oh, don't say that! <laughs> I need to mentally prepare myself for that. <laughs> Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence, the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence Super tame. The against swimming at nighttime. Okay. Dang. And that's the whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? Complete. Hirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. But to end like this... Does that mean you admit it? You know, now that I think about it, you know what? No, it isn't. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> now that I think about it, Tsumugi hasn't really said much in these trials, has she? She only has like one-liners, but she hasn't. She hasn't really like been a, par a participant in like the non-stop debates or anything like that. She's just kind of there. I wonder why. Gloves, though. The warehouse should have had plenty. Tsumugi doesn't help. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. So
So, it's decided. This case was decided the moment someone who shall not be named. <laughs> Come on, Asuke. Okay. But we, we don't know that. Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. Sumuki isn't very bright. <laughs> she's cute, though. She has that. She has, she has that that she's cute. And she's funny. Oh, Monodem. You're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. All right. Let's go. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless final. Oh, man. It's voting time. Oh, let's go. Oh, man. It was me! No, okay. Everyone would vote for her anyway. Vote for yourself. <laughs> it would be funny if, like, you voted for somebody else completely different and everybody else is like, their one vote is on one person. Then you just see that one pink mark on this one other person and you're like, the fuck? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be kind of funny. Guys, actually, it was me. Unless he embarrasses himself too much, really. Is there somebody... What? Did somebody vote for me? What the hell? Did somebody seriously vote for me? It wasn't me. I didn't vote for ourselves. Kirimi. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, like, what? <laughs> I forgot that she also gets to vote. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Freaking Kirimi. Damn. Verdict. Oh, Monica is nowhere to be seen. Poor Monica. She's sleeping up that chest. <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> Class trial, all rise. Really? We got A's on all of them? Nice. Yeah, let's go, y'all. This thanks to y'all that we, that we did that well. If it was just me, we probably would have gotten like a B or possibly even a C. So thanks to y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank y'all for being here. Oh, man. I'm surprised we got we got all eight. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> I was about to say. Okay, so we did get a few Bs. Okay. Yeah, we got a few Bs. Well, that's fine. We still, we, still, we still got an A for the final thing. So it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Level up. Let's see what Kirumi has to say. Level 34. Oh my! You all voted correctly! What an unexpected and unpredictable outcome! The black into killed Ryoma Hoshi is Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid! Yay! Yay bravo! Bravo! Bravo. Phew, thank goodness we managed to get through the class trial again. You gotta be kidding me! There's nothing good about this at all. Why? Why did it have to be Kurumi? Yeah. Truly, this result was unexpected. Wait! How can you be so calm about it? No way. But Gonta no can believe it. Kurumi was so helpful for everyone. <sighs> Same Kurumi is also culprit. Hey, hey, how long have you been lying to us? Why, why couldn't it have been one of the de degenerate males? I know, right? The truth is... Is that why you took good care of us? So you could deceive everyone? Huh? You mean she's not my mom? Hey! She was never your fucking mom. Damn it. <laughs> you dislike Angie that much? Oh, I actually really like, I actually really like Angie. Oh, we all have our separate opinions. <laughs> You're asking about everyone around you. How could you kill someone? <laughs> Humans be human beings have always been selfish, self-centered creatures. She definitely has a mommy kink for sure. Kichi definitely does. <laughs> That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forest we call home. They pollute the rivers we drink from. 
dumb degenerate. <laughs> I'll never forgive humans. No way. But is that really a reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice. Shut, shut up. up, shut up, shut up. Enough with the commentary already. Say. Look, Hirumi. Were your feelings towards us simply another falsehood? How? No, it can't be. Say it ain't so. That was just another lie, too. No. I don't think so. I still believe Kirumi cares about us. What? And how would you know? Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I can sense that this child has been agonizing for her. <sighs> you can't say for certain, hmm? This is what a detective would say. Um. Kirumi, are you upset? Because of the people important to you? Um. You mean like from the motive video? So Kirumi watched yours after all? Um. Earlier, Kirumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from someone important in her motive video. What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? I do not agree. No, that's not it. I'm just lost. Because if I tell you why I did it, you'll regret what you've just done. Regret? Damn. Spit it out already. Otherwise, we can't accept this outcome. Please! Please, Kirumi, tell us. I care about you a lot, and I know that others care about you too. So please. Understood. Very well then. If you're, if you're also desperate to know, I, shall take that I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. Well, you know. No more lies then. You better just tell us the truth, and please and thank you. Yes, yes I understand. That is correct. Your reasoning for your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma was because of what I saw in my motive video. Mm. As I thought, you did indeed watch your video. Um. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded you, traded you your motive video? All right, fess up. Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if, if, if it was you. I'm pretty sure she got her own, right? They had to have done that. They had to have pulled that, get, given somebody their own motive video, right? What are you saying? Why would the one raising their hand need to close their eyes? May I? That won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with anyone. If you didn't trade with anyone, how'd you see your motive video? Hey. Perhaps Kurumi received her own motive video? Yep. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I, I knew they were going to pull that. I knew Monokuma was going to pull that. Probably pulled that is to make one one of, one of the characters get uh, watch or get their own motive video, or the Mono Cubs rather, both Mono Cubs and Monokuma. Huh? Huh? You mean she had her own motive video from the start? Yes. Correct. No one had my motive video but me. The video's intended recipient. I have no idea why. The fuck's going That's on? not possible. Monokuma, what the hell's going on? Huh? Hmm? You know, I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being switched, what does that mean exactly? Uh, yeah, don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the motive videos. No, no. No, I didn't. Uh, huh? Uh, was it Mono Fanny? Uh, uh it was the Mono Cubs. Yep. Oh, oh I, was I not supposed to ask that? Did you, did you Cubs screw up again, hmm? Huh? Not supposed to. Dumbass. It's not Mono Fanny's fault. She passed them out without checking the names. <laughs> what? I didn't know. Monotaro should have checked the names too. Wait a minute, I don't even remember passing out any videos. Um, it was my fault. Yeah. What? Monica, the Monogos are actually stupid as fuck, yeah, for sure. But they're funny. I'm sorry. I apologize. I should not I should have been more careful. No. No, Monodam, it's not your fault. Okay. It's all our fault. I'm sorry too. Yeah. Seems I misunderstood. Yeah. I completely yeah. forgot that the plan all along was to redistrib redistribute the videos. Daddy? Hey. It's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault for forgetting. Father! Father. Hey. Thank goodness. What? what the hell is this mushy feel-good crap? Their comic relief? Yeah, definitely. You stupid. You're all idiots. I'm through getting along with you dumb bears. Well, Sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring conversation. I see. I see. The, Cubs, the Mono Cubs merely distributed, uh, distributed the motive videos at random. Receiving my own video was more, nothing more than bad luck. Oh, I see. So you just watched it without knowing why it was given to you? Hey. What was in your video? What's wrong? Well, he promised to tell us everything. Yes. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but I doubt that everyone, everyone, everyone will believe it. So. If that's the case, why don't we all watch the motive video together? That's right. Yes, that, that would be much better. Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again. How thorough of you. Yeah, I suppose it's just better this way. Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. After Kurumi had spoken, the, Mod the Monikas began playing the video. Kurumi told you it's motive video. Who? What is your motive? All right. Back by popular demand, 
It's time for the morning video! Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. One fateful day, she was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He asked Kirumi to make this country great again and transferred all oh my God. his authority to her. No one suspected that the Prime I am the wife of the great nation of Japan was secretly running the country. And over time, she became the de facto Prime Minister. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. But Kirumi is up to the I task. See. For she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. So you basically just killed Japan's Prime Minister. <laughs> well, she shouldn't have killed somebody. She is driven Sorry. by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. Oh, and while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Oh, come on. Find out for yourself. Damn. Huh? It can't be. Wh what? What the hell? The Prime Minister? Yes. Everything you just saw is true. Though I only remembered it upon watching that video. Remembered? Wait. Please, hold on. That video is true? What is that? That's ridiculous. There's no way Kirumi's really the Prime Minister. I do not agree. No, it's the truth. I am Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid, and the most important people to me. This is my selfless Are devotion. citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past. But he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. What did I You're do? literally confusing the shit out of me, because this makes no sense and I gotta take a dump. I see. I see. So Kirumi Hale is the real prime minister, running the country behind the scenes. Huh? How can you seriously believe that high schooler can be a prime minister? You really don't I don't think it's odd that an ultimate level of talent could be that powerful. I mean, Keyboy's talent lets him pretend to be human, even though he's a heartless robot. How rude, I am not pretending, I am still learning. I see. I see, well, good luck, I guess. Mm. Incredible. I was aware of Kurumi's impressive talents, but Prime Minister. What? Then Kurumi really is Prime Minister? She hold burden of the country's future? Actually. The motive video aside, Kurumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Hey, hey, I, I get that Kurumi is really important, but what was that unprecedented crisis? I do not know. I, I don't know, actually. Why can't I remember? With our memories lost. That's Wait, isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? That is correct. Perhaps it is connected to the ultimate hunt. Huh? The ultimate hunt is connected to the unprecedented crisis facing the nation. Um, if that's true, how are they connected? How are they connected? What is this ultimate hunt anyway? I do not know. I do not know what is happening to the nation while I'm here inside the end wall. That is why I needed to know. I needed to know what that the most important people in my life were safe. This is my because I am duty devotion. and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. nation. My that is why, oh, I needed to escape. If so. so you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else in the nation. But, but if those are the options, of course, you'd pick up everyone outside, right? That's just too many lives at stake out there. <laughs> and we just stopped Kurumi from doing doing that because we self we selfishly wanted to live. What should we do? Did we make just make a terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Kirumi is dead, Why? doesn't that mean we pretty much destroyed the country? What do we do? Wait. Say, what's Monokuma planning to do with the rest of humanity? 
you know how many people live in this country. Like a hundred million, easily. No matter how powerful the mass mine is, there's no way they could really... Bears do not lie. Bears do not lie. Hey, um... I am the ruler of this world. Nothing is beyond my power. Huh? Nothing is beyond your power? What kind of arrogant, ridiculous... 100%. That is 100% a lie. It is impossible that he could bring disaster to a country. <laughs> what are you trying What's so to funny? You guys act like you can't believe it, but you're all terrified anyway. Shing. If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason. Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animal that tells lies? Ha ha ha. Hey, cut it out. This is serious. How long are you going to keep talking about Kurumi? Dang. Let's talk about Ryoma. It would be a shame to completely neglect him. Oh, That's right, we know your motive to kill, but why did you kill Ryoma specifically? Is... Because he was easy to kill. Huh? Easy to kill? Weird. Ryoma not that weak. When he used when he used his Shukuchi method, he even Gonta could no could catch. I do not agree. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Huh? What? I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. Uh, what do you mean? That is... I told him I had urgent business to discuss, or ur urgent matters to discuss, and to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. There, I revealed my motive video, and afterward I told him. That is correct. I am responsible for the life of every citizen of this nation, so I must escape this place. He then responded. Got it. So, you got a reason to survive. So that's the com complete opposite of me. <laughs> That's good. BRB, all right. See you in a bit. That's good. If, you're, if you've got enough, something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> <laughs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis balls lying around. And then he turned his back toward me. At that moment, my determination solidified. A person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanate. He already knew. He forfeited his life right there. Oh my god. That is correct. That is when I decided that I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my people. Then... Then Ryoma knew he was going to be killed? But... Wait a minute. It's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore. What? Because... Ryoma only gave up on life after you showed him his motive video. Well, since you didn't watch his motive video, I guess you had no way of knowing. What are you talking What's your about? point? Wait Wait a minute, you're talking as if Ryoma saw that motive video. Didn't you just say that he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Mm -hmm. Huh? Did I say that? Huh? What are you getting at? Well, you know. I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone has to step up and speak up for speak for poor Ryoma. I told you. Again, what's your point? Th that he gave up on life because I showed him his motive video? I'll get to that in a sec, but why do you think Ryoma wanted to go wanted to see his motive video? Cause he was looking for a reason to live, isn't that right, Maki? Why? How do you know that? What? Swap motive videos? Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Cause once you watch them, you've got a motive to kill. But but if it's if it shows someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea who will be in who'll be in the video? No. I don't. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> Once I know I've got something, someone important to me, I have to I have a reason to live. Jeez. If I've got a reason to live, then I've got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words, in other words, that video might just give me a motive to live. Please. So please. That's true. You're right. He was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. Which means you shouldn't have shown him his motive video in the first place. Hey! What do you mean? What did his video show? Ah. Nothing. His motive was empty. Huh? Empty? Oh, we're up next. Let's give it a watch, shall we? Oh my god, this is a long episode. <laughs> Alright. I guess let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. Or, I don't want this episode to be too, too long. I could end off the episode here and then start, start the next recording. And we'll see how long this goes. Alright, let's go. Ryoma Hoshi's motive video. All right, back by popular demand. Execution is almost it's here. Oh man. Video. I am not ready. End it with the execution. Okay, don't do that. Who is the most 
most important person in your life. Nah, finish to the end. Now, without further ado. This message is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Unfortunately, there is no one in the oh world. Oh my god, that's terrible. To you. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Wow. No one. It'll be a bit long, but pacing is important. Okay. Man, that was... That was... Wow. Oh my god. No one? No one was important to him? Always messing around. That's what he was shown. If he saw something like that. Mm. But if people are watching your videos to watch you play, they're likely bring they're likely binging anyway. Okay. Makes sense. He had none to care for and none who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kurumi claim his life. I see. So that's why. He must have wa just watched that video before I summoned him to meet me to meet with me. He just gave up then? But yeah, Ryoma had nobody in his life. That that's that's sad. Oh my god. He just gave yeah. up then. To hell with that. To hell with that. That damn moron. But, but... It's bad to have no reason to live, but it's also bad to have too many reasons to live. Because That's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Kurumi? Far too many far too many reasons. Yes. You're free to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, children, and elderly. I wanted to live. Kurumi. Yeah. Come on, Akuma. Going to have question. You need uh, what is it? Hey. Can Gonta be black instead of Kurumi? What? Gonta. Gonta. Not smart boy. But even Gonta understand what everyone's saying. Yeah. Kumi should live, not Gonta. World needs her. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kumi's life is way more valuable than mine. Kurumi hasn't given up. Kurumi's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people on her shoulders, right? Unfortunately. Logically, Kurumi's survival world result in fewer casualties than our collective survival would. Jeez, maybe it would have been better if we'd gotten the culprit wrong. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. If Kurumi survives, the nation's future will be secure. Then, what was the point of me doing all this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? Was I wrong? I... I shouldn't have... Shuichi. What kind of face is that, Shuichi? If you're my psychic, then suck it up! Huh? Oh my gosh, great thing to say to Shuichi. What? Hey. That goes for all of you. To hell with all that value of life shit! Right. Life's not just some something. You can't trade it for or put a price on it. Kaito. Listen up. And your life doesn't just belong to you. If it's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, even your neighbors. I mean, it's not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about so we didn't do the wrong thing. Life's purpose is to be lived. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. Of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I want to live. I haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm going to die here. Jeez. <sighs> the idiot's talking again. But, but he's right. I mean... You're right, too. He's an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. But he's right. So divine. Yep, he's an a damned idiot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut hey, up. shut up. I told you to stop calling me an idiot. But... Maybe his stupid speech is just what we needed to hear. Kumi certainly looks shaken by it. Huh? huh? Shaken? Because... Do you really think someone as desperate to live as Kurumi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up y even now. <laughs> oh my god. That face. She's hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. Huh? What? 
Damn. But, but Monokuma would never allow a black to escape punishment, so maybe she wanted everyone to rebel so she could use that as cover to escape on her own. <laughs> How about it, Kurumi? Am I close? You are the most detestable Cretan I've ever, ever met. You knew exactly what I, what I would attempt, yet it allowed me to explain anyway. Huh? Wait, what he said is just true? You mean... You try to trick Gonta? Try to uh, trick everyone? Really? Seriously, you backstabbing cunt? Cut it out. Enough. She was just trying try to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That is correct. That's right. I must survive. Because I carried the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have been I would not have killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this nation. You must so live. no matter what, I cannot die. That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now I refuse to give up. Huh? Kurumi. I see. You still refuse to give up? So what do you intend to do? You must live. I intend to live. I must survive, no matter what it takes. If I must debase myself, so be it. I will drink fifth and eat carrion to survive. I'll do anything, anything to survive. She screamed and, started, and she started running. Ah! What the hell? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was completely, it was a completely undignified exit. I have to escape. I won't die here. <sighs> oh man. Chief, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you out of here. Oh my god. She, she goes zoom. Oh man. Oh, it was ugly and, and raw and feral. She just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. R run. Run. Run, Kurumi. Please run. This execution was horrible. Oh no. Oh no. Let's go, Kurumi. Run. Run. Please hurry. Hurry. Run. Like I said, I'm not letting you leave. Please, Please run! Exocel tribe, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now then, I've prepared a special punishment for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Oh, no. For my nation, for my people. Oh, y'all, I am not ready. I am not ready. I am not ready. I'm gonna leave y'all on a cliffhanger. We're gonna do this in the next stream. No, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna do that. Oh, but no, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. How much would y'all hate me if I just like ended the stream here? <laughs> That'd be terrible. Y'all would probably hate me. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Don't worry. Oh no. Oh no. Kurumi has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Oh no. Strand of Agony. Ultimate Maid. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, oh. oh my god. Ah, oh, she's trying so hard. Oh. Oh man. They just had to get that fan service in, didn't they? <laughs> oh no. You're almost there. You're almost there. Ah. Oh. No. <gasps> Monodam, why?
Monodam! Okay, Monodam's gonna be killing everybody, isn't he? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... I'm sorry, I just had to laugh. Freaking, freaking Mono Fanny. It's just... Fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was... That was actually... That was horrible. Really? Why, why Monodam? Why did you kill Monosuke? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Monotaro. It's okay. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if you need vomit, let it out. You'll feel much better afterward. <laughs> oh my god. Monosuke, he was no different from Mono Kid. <laughs> he was getting in the way I was getting along. We don't need him. Yeah. Don't need him. Let's get along. We few remaining Mono Cubs must get along. We matter no matter what we must always get along not even father can stop us from getting along I will not, forgive that. not if he knows what is good for him huh? damn <laughs> mono damn damn <laughs> this Academy belongs to us the age of the mono kit Cubs begins now ha 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 <laughs> How dare you take that rebellious tone with me, young man! That's and yet, this nice. angsty attitude of yours is just so cute! They are so cute. <laughs> it's so cute how your little crew has shrunk by one member. Yep, shrunk. You're not getting lar any larger, you know. They're so <laughs> It's unbearably cute! <laughs> All this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. Ah, ah, ah. How? Ugly <laughs> bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! We were calling ugly bitch. Stop it. it doesn't matter. Now's not the time for that. K Kirumi. I don't like that. I I can't take this anymore. Even Kirumi was killed so brutally. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Am I gonna end up like that too? Oh, Himiko, it's okay. Leon's was obscured. Mont. Mondo was butter, Celeste was crushed, Alter Ego was a computer, Junko was crushed, Terry Terry was ca cartoonishly deep deep fried, Pekka was obscured, Mikan was in space, Gundam was cartoonishly carried into heaven, Kiaki was crushed, and Kaede was crushed. So this is actually the first one where the corpse is fully visible. Yeah, that is true. You are you are right there, Riper. I won't let that happen, Himiko. I'll protect you no matter what. I'll protect you no matter what. But I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, let's just stop this killing game. I don't care if we stay trapped here forever. Come on, come on! Oh, isn't that what Atua said? Atua All desire, said. even your desire to escape this place, can corrupt you beyond redemption. <laughs> it's Monokuma who's corrupt. He is the one who dist who distributed the motive videos. I see. Yes. And those videos were more dangerous than we thought. To have driven Kurumi that far. That's true. What worries me is, as long as we're trapped here. We don't know what's true or false. Okay. That must be why Kurumi did not did not want to show the videos. She thought that if everyone felt that same murderous rage that she did, this killing it would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Will there be more visible car car corpses of underage high schoolers after being brutally executed? Stay tuned. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, hey. If that's the case, then we t really need to shouldn't show our videos to each other. Of course. That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. I had assumed Kokichi would try to show us our videos to get under our skin. But what did that what did not come to pass? What? I wonder where his intentions. Huh? I'd never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kurumi said. What Kurumi said. Everything you saw is everything you just saw is true. Though I only remembered it upon watching that video. What she said earlier, correct? Huh? What about it? She says she remembered, and it didn't sound like a lie either. Maybe that video had the properties of the flashback light, if, if, if it made her remember. What? Huh? The properties of a flashback light? Okay. Still, how could Kurumi have remember something she never could have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Um, Does that mean we have we have motives to kill that? We have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? And if that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we won't know our motives. Yeah, now I'm convinced. It's probably for the best. The those motive videos would mess us up. 
It's better if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right. It's best that we f we we not remember our motives for everyone's sake. Oh dear. Here you can speak of everyone's sake is the least is the least believable lie I've ever heard yet. That's so rude. How rude! I'm always doing stuff for everyone's sake. It's a lie. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. But maybe seeing Kurumi's final moments has made me change my views. Because she tried to escape until the very end. Running away to live might not be the, not maybe might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe, maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes. You just gotta win in the end. Yeah, you missed the execution, with so sorry about that. If you do want to see it though, you want to see my reaction, or you want to hear my reaction, because I don't have face count on my YouTube recording, you can go check out the episode whenever it goes up on my YouTube channel. This is episode 21 or 22, I believe. And with that, the second class challenge ended for us. And a, a pirate victory. We had still lost a friend. What is the end Kaito spoke of? And how do we reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. When we returned from the courtroom, the area was already bl uh, blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Why you? Like you have a, like you even have a brain to use. I won't forgive you. Anyway, this killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It was it was a brutal death. It'll be fine as long as we listen to a tour. I'll just be fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? What are you? Why are you staring up at the sky? Mm. It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But, but stars have here different. Not the same ones Gonta used to. Uh, um, different? Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah, Gonta looking, but no, no one can find star but he remembers. Why? But why? Were we taken somewhere far away? Far away? Hey, so hey, let's all head back to already. I'm wiped out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Strand of Agony is my favorite execution in this game. Really? You, Jose? It was a pretty... It was an interesting one. Oh, hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Huh? What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Well, yeah, now. No, no. It won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to say. What is it? Well, then. What is it you have to say? Um... Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. But that's it? ridiculous. There's a way worse liar than me in our group. Huh? A liar worse than you? I'm talking about Maki. Huh? What? what? What do you mean, Maki's a liar? Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Remember I wanted her to show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason to live. Well, yeah. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? B blackmail? Um... We almost just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. What? So he used, he used to that to blackmail her. I bet he said something something like, if you don't show me my motive video, I'll just tell everyone who you really, what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Hold on. Why you? What shit are you talking about now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. Maki is. He fooled me. No, he. I, nah. Oh my god. For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moves so fast. Oh my god. What is happening? What is happening? You know, this is an interesting turn of events. But would you really kill me in front of everyone? Hey, Maki, what the hell? What's happening? On? Yeah. Ultimate Sonic. Probably step my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows, right, Miss <gasps> Ultimate Assassin? What? Ultimate Assassin? What? What do you mean? Ultimate Assassin? Huh? Ultimate Assassin? What do you mean? Huh? <laughs> Is that a thin line divides heaven and hell? Chapter two. Surviving members, twelve. To be continued. What? 
Servant's gloves. It's trophy earned. Sweep sweep. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. Are you, are you serious right now? Are you actually serious right now? Ultimate assassin? Is that... Is that why she... Is that why she didn't want to see her room? Because it's probably full of like a whole bunch of... Assassin-like stuff, I guess. What the hell? Oh my god. What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. <laughs> and I'll see y'all in the next episode where we take on chapter three or we start chapter three. See y'all then.